Bonjour to welcome to learning French. My name is Lillian and I'll be your French teacher. I'm very happy to teach you today your very first French lesson. This lesson is dedicated to complete beginners in learning French. So if you know nothing about French, this class is for you or for those who already have the knowledge or who speaks French and would like to warm up before the end of this class, I believe you should know a few words in French. Pronunciation in French is very, very vital. It is very important. It will help you know words very well and what they really mean. Pronunciation is very important. And today we're going to be looking at 10 words in French. Let's get started. Word number one is oui. Oui. It means yes. Oui. It means yes. And the next word, word number two, is no. No. It means no. 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 The nasal sound, you can't hear the sound because it comes from here. It comes from here. So it's a nasal sound because you are pronouncing a nasal sound. You can't hear it. So it is no. And you can't pronounce the last end. No. 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 So the third word is peut-être. Peut-être, peut-être, it means maybe or perhaps, it means maybe or perhaps. The neutral E, the open E is contrast, peut-être, peut-être, peut-être. And we finish with the sound, the French one which is not something that comes from the mouth, but your throat. And it's still not very, it's still not very, very rough enough, but. <sighs> okay, and the fourth one is, je ne sais pas, je ne sais pas, je, je ne sais pas, je ne sais pas. It means, I don't know. This is what you read and learn academically but we actually hear on screens or tv shows or yeah documentaries you hear a french person talking is je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. it's it's more like very fast they try to the french people have a tendency of speaking very fast and they try to gain time and fluency so no so one solution so so one solution is to adjust and get rid of ah get rid of ah a letter when you can do that for example the vowel uh, the negation in general is very often just taken out so it will be like je ne sais pas and also in the informal do you understand so it is je ne okay for the fifth one is s'il te plaît s'il te plaît it's for informal while s'il vous plaît is for the formal number six merci Merci beaucoup. Merci. Merci beaucoup. It means thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. A lot of scholars, even those who are good in French, they still find it difficult to spell beaucoup. So you have to be very careful when spelling it. Merci beaucoup. The seventh one is de rien. It means you're welcome. You're welcome. The eighth one is salut. It can mean hi or it can mean bye. This can be used in a formal, in, it can be used in an informal form. Either to say hello or to say goodbye. Salut when you enter a place. Salut when you leave a place. Salut. Salut, monsieur. Salut, madame. It means hi or goodbye. 
Bonjour. 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 It means good morning and it could also mean good afternoon. The tenth one is au revoir. Au revoir. It means goodbye. This would be like the je ne sais pas that we mentioned earlier. This is what you read and this is how you speak in a very correct way. What you actually hear is au revoir. The informal because they, I told you it has um, the I pronounce from your truth. So it's au revoir, au revoir, au revoir, and they pronounce it au revoir, au revoir. <laughs> okay, we have gone to the end of this class, and I believe you must have learned something. So make sure if you have to pause the video and listen to the words again, then please do so. In our next class, We'll be learning more bye don't forget to like subscribe and share turn on your notification button so just when i post the next video you'll be updated see you soon